today we're going to be talking about the American Welding Society electrode classification system for shielded metal arc welding. This is a typical shielded metal arc welding electrode classification. We have an E for electrode, which means it carries current. The 60 is for the tensile strength in thousands of pounds per square inch, or KSI. The 1 is the position. 1 is all position. 2 is flat grooves and fillets, or horizontal fillets only. And then there's a 4, which is specially made for welding vertical down. Our last digit here, the 0, tells us what's in the flux. In this case, it's a fast freeze rod. It uses a particular type of coating, and it's designed to dig deep and freeze quickly so that you can get into that thicker material. You can also have an addition out to the end that can tell you a number of things. Some of it's for low alloy electrodes, telling you what other elements are alloyed into it. And some of it, for instance, on a 7018H4R, tells you that it's a low hydrogen, and the R means it meets the reduced moisture requirements so you can have it out of the oven longer without picking up at moisture from the atmosphere. So here we have two more examples. Um, we have our E7024, once again, electrode, 70,000 pounds per square inch tensile strength. Our two, for our position, tells us flat grooves, flat fillets, and horizontal fillets. And then the four in this case is what kind of flux it is, but we also know, because that's a four, that there's iron powder added. So we're going to get a real heavy weld deposit from this electrode. On our next example, we have an E9018-B3 electrode, 90,000 pounds per square inch, all position. The 8 is one of three low hydrogens, so this rod has to be kept in an oven. And then our dash B3 tells us the specifics of the alloy that that's designed to weld on. The next thing we need to look at is our F groups. Now these are designations by the American Welding Society that tell you basically how the electrode is going to act. Our F1 group is fast fill, so it's going to put a lot of material down, the puddle's going to be pretty fluid, and it's going to be difficult to impossible to use out of position. An example of that would be an E7024. Our F2 group is our fill freeze. This is things like 6013. They're going to put down a decent amount of material medium to low penetration, but they're going to be able to be used in any position. Our F3 group is our fast freeze. They're all position rods. They dig deep. They don't put down a lot of material, but they have a little bit of cleaning action too with them. An example of that would be an E6010. And then our F4 group is another fill freeze group, but this group is all of our low hydrogen electrodes. So that'll be things like E7018, E6016, and things like that.